In this video, I'll show you how you can bake textures in Blender for exporting. You're probably on this video because you want to export textures to Source Filmmaker, Unity, 3ds Max, or some other 3D application. So in this video, I'll show you how you can bake a diffuse or albedo map. To start, switch your render engine over to Cycles, since Eevee doesn't support the kind of baking we want. Next, select the model you want to bake and open up the material in the node editor. While we're here, also open up the image editor since we'll need it later. So if you have your material all set up, it should have a shader as the output. But we don't want a shader that takes into account lighting, we're baking color data, so we want to find the raw color input for this shader. And with node base materials, I just have to find where that's hooked up. Luckily, that's conveniently outputted right here. But it may not always be that easy. For example, say I want to get the roughness for this material. I'll have to go into the node group to search around. If I do some quick searching, I can see that this is the roughness set on the shader right here. I can fork this connection and drag the output to the node group output, and I can hook it up for easy access like the diffuse. But we're just going to stick with diffuse for this video. So now that I have the color data I want, I need to set it up properly for baking. Now this is where I see other tutorials getting it wrong. They'll add a diffuse node to hook up the color data. This is wrong because the diffuse node will add a slight amount of lighting information to the output. I mean, it's literally in the name of the node. So we don't want any lighting, so we'll use an emission node set to strength 1, which is the default value. The emission works because materials that emit light, which is now our whole model, will not be affected by any external lighting. That's just a property of light emitting objects, and we're making that work in our favor here. Now you may be thinking, the emission node is making this model darker than the diffuse node is. While that may be true, using emission will get us a more accurate color representation than diffuse, since diffuse is adding lighting information after all. And to show that, if we zoom in on this man's lovely crotch, we'll see that the diffuse shader is adding lighting to this. Now it could be argued that since we're baking a diffuse map, that we shouldn't mind some lighting information being baked in. But this tutorial is meant to be for other types of data as well. We wouldn't want to get lighting information on our roughness map or normal map, now would we? I've seen many tutorials on baking mentioned using the diffuse node here, so please don't do that. Just use emission instead. Once hooked up, we need to tell Blender where to put this baked texture. In the image editor, we can create an empty image where we need to specify its resolution. I know the base color gets details from a texture that is 2048 by 2048 pixels. I won't get any more detail if I set the bake texture to anything higher, and I don't want to lose any data by setting it lower, so I'll just keep it as that. Back in the shader editor, add an image node and select the texture we just created. Make sure that when you hit bake that this image node is selected, because this is where Blender will write the bake output. Finally, we can go into the bake area. Set the bake type to emit, and turn down the margin to around 2 pixels. The margin tells the bake how much to overflow in the UV islands. Just don't set this to zero or your textures will look strange around the edges. Make sure the object and image node are selected and then hit bake. Once the bake is done, save it to an external image and you're all done. Now I did want to quickly mention two of the most common issues I've seen with baking, alpha channels and UV maps. Alpha channels can hide important details on textures if they exist, and sometimes you just forget about them. If you have the Node Wrangler add-on installed, which I highly recommend, you can easily control shift click on the nodes to check for any alpha data. If you do find anything, open up the end panel and set the alpha to channel packed. This ensures that the RGB and alpha data stay separate. The next common issue is UV maps. Blender will not bake anything with UVs outside of the square. You can easily move these UV islands back inside by setting the move distance to 1. So to move this island back inside and not screw with any of the UV data, select it, press G to move it, X for the X axis, 1 for 1 unit, and minus to move it negative one unit. And that's all I have for baking textures. Leave a comment if you find some other issue affecting your bakes.